Hello, welcome to my short demonstration on using Power Query to automate uh, gathering data from different sources and uh, especially for daily reports, weekly reports and monthly reports. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate using a report for a fictitious pizza company and uh, this is the scenario. Every, every day I do a daily report and uh, the daily report involves getting data from different branches okay so the first step is to make sure that you have a dedicated folder like as i have here a folder called sales report you can call it uh, whatever you like and then make sure it's under the data the source data that are going data files that are going to be in that in that folder so currently i get data from about nine yeah exactly nine branches and every day every day i get this data right so I make sure I put the data in this folder and then uh, you go into Excel data menu uh, it's part of the features of Power Query but in 2016 it's been fused natively into Excel and it's called get and transform so but if you're using 2013 then you need to uh, activate Power Query like it will show this way like Power Pivot but it will show as Power Query alright so I go to data menu I go to get data I go to from file I go to from folder and uh, it's going to come up and then I browse to the very folder I have all of those uh, data files in so I'm going to in my documents it's um, called sales report okay and then I click on OK and instantly it shows all of the files in the folder right uh, the thing you have to be on the you have to ensure it's it is that uh, the structure of all these files are the same and so I go here, I do combine and load. And then uh, I pick the sheets where I have the raw data files, the, the raw data table. And then I see a preview. The other thing you have to ensure is that this file name, this sheet name, it's consistent across all the files. So mine is showing sheet one, it means and in all of those data files, sheet one, the name, not just the position, well, the position doesn't matter, it's the name. It's going to make, you're going to have to ensure that the name of where the, the sheet where all those data are in is sheet one or whatever name you, you've you given yours. Okay, or your team who sends it to you, use. So you click on OK. And instantly, Power Query will do its magic. As you can see, it's done uh, combining all those data. You'll see here uh, it shows even the file names. And you can see all those nine branches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All those nine branches are already combined. Huh? Okay, so that's really fast, better than copy and paste. But the magic is in when I have a new branch or like I said, this is a report I do I do daily. So maybe I this is for today. Well then when it's tomorrow, how do I get this done without having to repeat uh, all of these processes? The magic is in. All I do is tomorrow I replace this data with tomorrow's data, and then I come in here, I right click, and I do refresh, and that does the magic. But what of a case of where there is an additional data I need to put in here? Say we've launched a new branch and then I'm done with this and then they send me the new branch data. How do I make that come in here so my report can be able to pick that new branch data? Well, very easy. So let me demonstrate what I've just said. There's a new branch we have launched, uh, Lokoja branch. So let me look for his data file. So this is it. I'm going to copy it and uh, put in that dedicated folder. 
so I no sales reports yeah and so I put it in this dedicated folder and that's all I need to do hmm? I go into the already existing uh, combined data table you know which we have done and I'm right now you will see that it's not part of the files in here right not part of the data showing in here the magic is in again right clicking anywhere in here and say refresh and boom it's done uh, let me show you see can you see there is local new branch and if I scroll down if I scroll down yeah. see this is the new branch I just had it and so that's how with Power Query you can uh, automatically pull in new data especially when you do reports like weekly reports daily report monthly reports where the structure of the raw data and the report formats are uh, similar and consistent and you don't want to copy paste copy paste new data whenever there is a new data with Power Query you can instantly grab the new data and pull them into your your, your reports so thank you